name is Julian Camarena. And I'm Adrian Camarena. And we're joined by a very special guest today, Ms. Raylan Castor. She has appeared on numerous films such as Wichita, Matchbreaker, Bender, as well as TV shows such as Me, Myself, and I. And you can now catch her on ABC Family's American Housewife. Yeah. So how are you doing today? I've been great. How are you guys? Cool. Thanks for, thanks for hanging out with us. Tell us a little bit about your character on American Housewife. I am a girl that... Oh, yeah, I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver is one of the main boys, and Cooper is his best friend. Okay. And they kind of were flirting. Um, I'm flirting with them. I have a best friend named Victoria, and I kind of get them to do something yeah. a little out of their comfort zone. They end up going to a party. So you're the, you're the troublemaker in the show. A little bit, not not too much, just for that episode. Are you like that? Are you like that in real life at all, or, you, or no. just completely opposite? I I mean. Well, I know your dad's here, so probably. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so you've done movies and you've done TV shows. How is it different? How is it different being on the set of sort of a TV show and then being on the set of a of a movie? Yeah, it's it's pretty different. One because you're shooting for so long on a TV show because they shoot an episode a week, so each episode goes very quickly. At the end of the week, you'll get a new script for the next week. Yeah. And it's like that constant, you're shooting, like when I was shooting Me, Myself, and I, I was shooting for multiple months, like four or five months at a, t at a time, and like episodes back to back constantly, and with a movie, you'll just, it's one script, yeah. just go, you'll do it for, it. it'll take like a month, and then that's about it. But they're both a great environment. I love doing both of them. Started you. So, what was the, sort of the first acting gig that you started out in? How old were you, too? Um, I was like six or seven, I think, whenever I first first started. Which it was a commercial for a clear spray paint. Yeah. It was called Clear Neon, and when you put a black light up to it, it would glow. Clear Neon goes on clear, glows in black light. Clear Neon, paint your fantasy. Did, you, did they give you some to take home after? Yeah, actually, I had like three or four bottles of it that I took home. And you just so, sprayed the whole house? <laughs> I mean, that, that's like the fun thing about, about working with like different brands and companies is they send you stuff, mm -hmm. they send you home with stuff. Like yeah. I've done stuff with like candy companies and they just give you a bunch of candy. Yeah. Talk a little bit from your transition from going to theater to yeah. doing... I initially started just doing small plays at like my local theater. I played very small characters. I think the first one that I did, I played a chipmunk or something like that. Um, did they make you dress up like a chipmunk? Yeah, and sleep, I played like <laughs> Sleeping Beauty. And then also just one of like the people that went to like the ball. Um, and that's about it. I just had to learn like the chorus songs. It was very different. And then I started doing like commercials and those were those were like my, my first time being in front of camera, which that was, that was really cool. I felt I remember the first time I actually auditioned for a commercial was Clear Neon, and uh, there was just something about it, like being in front of the camera, that just like made me kind of like brighten up and like. So you weren't you were nervous at all when you first got on camera? I wasn't nervous. That's like one thing about me that's very surprising is I don't really get stage fright or anything like that. So so it's like you're not nervous on stage or in front of camera. You're just completely relaxed. I'm pretty, yeah. Like, look look at one of these cameras. They look soulless. Like, they, <laughs> they look very ominous. You know, I don't know if you if you watched, what was it, 2001 Space Odyssey with, <laughs> with the talking how. I've never even watched that show. Uh, watched wouldn't, you like, wouldn't you I like one old years movies. old when that show came out? Yeah, but I, I watch a lot of old movies. But yeah, I don't, I don't really get nervous. Um, I mean, occasionally I will find myself a little bit nervous and I'll be like, why am I nervous? Um, mostly for, um, <laughs> yeah, mostly for like if I have an audition where I have to sing, I'll find myself a little nervous because it's like something so different that like I'm not, I don't do it. So are you more comfortable much. acting than singing? Very much so, yeah. Now, just... if a lot of you don't know, she, yeah, she, she has a beautiful voice. She does a lot of Instagram videos of her singing and stuff and, and you write music too, right? I do, yeah, I do. Um, but yeah, I don't, I get more nervous singing just because it's something that I've always grown up acting and it just feels like a part of me that it's just always been there. And with singing, it's kind of new. It's very vulnerable. Did you grow up in Los Angeles or you grew no. up somewhere else? I grew up in Wichita, Kansas. And I lived there my whole life, born and raised. And then when uh, two and a half years ago, I moved out here for acting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how was the, because you were going at school to school yeah. and doing the acting. How was mm -hmm. that kind of managing your time? Yeah, it trying was. To figure things out? It was difficult at first. It was hard to manage my time because I was missing so much school for acting. But um, eventually, after I moved out here and I booked 
the regular role on Me, Myself, and I, we switched to an independent school. So that is where like I go in once a week, I turn in work, I get more work for like an hour. Um, but the rest of it's at home, so I can work on my own time. If I wanted to, I that could work it. Better. Yeah. That sounds better. Yeah. It's it's a lot better. The only thing, the only downside to it is I'm I feel like I'm missing a little piece of like high school yeah. just because I'm not getting like that traditional high school experience. You're not missing much stress. <laughs> like, you're like, you mean like the social aspect? Yeah, or? the social aspect. But I, I have a very, very full social calendar. Like I'm always with friends and stuff. So I guess I piece of me misses like actually physically going to school. But, but you have a lot of friends who are in the industry, so it's, yeah, it's more have, it's easier yeah. to relate to them. Yeah, I have a lot of friends in the industry and a lot of friends who aren't um, because when I first moved out here, I went to a middle school. So I was able to make friends that go to a public school, they live like normal life. So I go to the football games that they're at now in high school and stuff. So I have like those two kind of worlds. So is, is there something about Kansas that you miss now that you're living here? I miss my friends. I miss them a lot. I'm actually going back soon and visiting, which I'm really excited about because I haven't visited since I've moved out here. Um, but I mean, there's not too much for me back there. I loved it back there, but that's, a, like, that's like us for Arizona. Well, we have yeah, our so parents, yeah, so but yeah. yeah. But besides the parents, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have much. Yeah, so we're, we're originally from Arizona. It's sort of a small town mm -hmm. uh, and stuff. So it's it's obviously it's a huge difference. Yeah, it is. It's a huge difference, but I love it out here. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite part about being in Los Angeles? Oh my gosh, there's so many parts of it. Um, I really like being able to drive five minutes and be at a beach because in the Kansas, you're literally in the middle of the United yeah. States. Um, so I don't have a beach there. And then also just, you know, the people here are really great. I love them. Um, I've made some really great friends out here that I think that I'll keep with me for the rest of my life, hopefully. And there's always there's always stuff to do it here too. Yeah, there's always something to do. I love, this is something about me, a little fun fact. I love the amount of escape, room, escape rooms that are out here. I oh, go really? to them, I've been to so many, it's insane. I've never been to I've one at all. I've seen one? them everywhere, but I've oh never been gosh. to one. I That's like my thing with my friends. I've been to like five a week in periods of time. <laughs> he doesn't know what an escape room is, so it's swaying a little bit too. <laughs> He's like, what's an escape room? I don't know. <laughs> um, an escape room is where they lock you in a room for like an hour. That sounds and, horrible. <laughs> no, it's super fun, I swear. They lock you in a room for an hour and there's always like a storyline and you have to figure out how to escape. So you have to use your mind. There's puzzles, there's like different It's like a real life it. game. It is. They just came out with a movie escape room. Yeah. I watched that, it was so intense. I was like on the edge of my seat the entire time. Oh, like, is, it, is that the one out. where like they actually die or something? Yeah, yeah it's, it's like, like, a, it's it's like, like a, a horror film where like they actually die. Oh, yeah. so, so, so maybe go to escape room first and yeah. then watch the movie, yeah, yeah, yeah. just in case. Um, but yeah, I love doing those. They're super fun. So what other stuff do you do on your free time when you're not acting and stuff besides um, escape rooms? I'm, I'm always with friends. Uh, I'm either with my friends who go to regular high school and we're just kind of hanging out or I'm with my friends who are in the industry and we when we're, we live pretty normal lives too though like we have like a hangout we have a place in studio city where we go all the time it's like this cafe they do open mics it's super cool and so we're always there and we just like i mean escape room is what we do a lot so but do you ever do like a like sing at the open mics or anything like yeah that? I have sung at the open mics before a couple times. It's super fun. They're super supportive and stuff. So. Do you usually sing like covers of songs? Or you I'll normally do originals. I think I've done one cover there. Yeah. That's cool. How many, how many oh, songs have cool. you written or do you know? Oh my gosh. I've written quite a few. Um, probably like around 10. So. How, how did, uh, I guess, how did you get into songwriting? I don't really know. I'm trying to think back. I know that what usually like triggered <laughs> yeah, yeah she saw she, she saw, saw your music, saw your music and, and i was like i need to start need songwriting to start. before this interview you know it's funny like for me the way that i started songwriting is is i started out as a musician first of all mm -hmm. i played saxophone then i got into playing piano and then i got into playing guitar yeah. and then i was like you know what i'm just gonna try to put some words to it yeah, yeah. so i was like so then i started singing it and it was it made everything so much more fun yeah. Like, I, I love being able to actually sing while playing at the uh -huh. same time. It's, it's just so awesome. much fun. Uh, what usually, like, makes me write something yeah. is 
every time that I feel like an overwhelming emotion, I will be like, I need to write this. Yeah. And so, or it's like anytime, therapy. It's pretty much it, like therapy. It is. So what, what, what sort of advice, because there's a lot of people obviously that are watching this that want to get into acting and they have their dream of moving to Los Angeles. Yeah. What sort of advice would you give someone who's just starting out? The advice that I would give them for someone just starting out is to not take rejection to the heart. Because when you're just starting out, it's really easy to do that. And this is like a common thing you say, you'll get a hundred no's before you get your one yes. And it's so true. I've done probably a thousand auditions. And I mean, I've only gotten a handful that I actually get to do. And so it's just, I mean, there's been times where I've wanted to like give up when I was living in Kansas. I was doing self tapes and there would be an audition where I was like, I don't really want to do this. Like, I mean, it's not working out. And then it's funny because there was one where I was kind of reluctant on doing it and then I did. And that's actually what landed me, my agent in California. And so it's just like, you never know what it's going to be. You gotta be persistent and eventually yes. you'll get. You have to be very persistent. You have to not give up and you can't take rejection to the heart because it will happen. I mean, auditions, you're going in front of these producers for them to sit there and pretty much not to scare anyone, but like judge you. They're judging how you do this and that and they're thinking in their head, okay, how can I edit this? Or who will she go well with? They're like trying to fit you into the character, but it's just, it can be scary if it, you think it, about it like that. Are they pretty nice? when they come to oh, auditions, are they so like- so nice. No, right, no, no, yeah. no. Everyone that <laughs> I've it, ever- That's it, you're done. <laughs> no, everyone that I've ever auditioned with has been incredible. Yeah. The casting directors, the thing about it is they want you yeah. to, they want to cast you. Every, anyone who walks like in the room, they want to cast you because they want to find the perfect fit for this character. So they're going to be giving you notes. They're gonna be on your side. They want you to get this part because that's their job to cast the perfect fit. And once they find it, it's like, okay, then they're done. They don't have to keep casting yeah, more yeah, and more exactly. people. So. so every time you go in, they're all on your side. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess that's uh, just about all the time we have today, but thank awesome. you so much for thank joining you. us. Yeah, thank you. And uh, it's been fun having you. Thanks it's for hanging so out with us. It's been so much fun having you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Until next time, guys. Thank you. Hey guys, thanks for watching The Camerana Show. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss a single episode.